Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. Good evening all of you. Welcome back to the first session of compiler design. So today we are going to start this subject. So today is the intro session where we are going to discuss the weightage analysis, the best books, what should be the preparation strategy. Also, what we are going to cover in this series of compiler design. So before starting, let, uh, just confirm once in the chat box whether I'm properly audible and visible to all of you. Please confirm once, everyone. Then we are going to start and also like the session. Share with your friends as much as you can. Hello Divya, good evening, welcome. Yes, everyone, do share the session because this series is going to be really helpful for all those students who are going to you know appear for gate 2023 and also those who are appearing this those who are preparing for gate 2024 good evening good evening uh, sabhagya thank you thank you divya okay so yes guys let's start good evening uh, manish shankar yes so in this series we will be talking about first the weightage analysis what is the syllabus right what are the standard textbooks that you can refer if you want? Also, we are going to discuss the preparation strategy and what we are going to cover in this series. So we will be covering almost all the most important concepts of compiler design in this series, okay? And from every unit. So without waiting, let's start, guys. Before even starting, uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, on 8th of May, 2022, at 12.30 p.m., we are going to conduct one workshop that is how to ace gate 2023 in first attempt. So that will be taken by our dear Ashutosh Saxena, sir. So he is having 10 plus years of experience. So do register for it only on Baiju's exam prep app. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, all of you. Welcome. <laughs> also, uh, we have started one series that is concept capsules. So where we are going to provide you the fundamental concepts of your gate subjects, also the tricks. And we will be giving you these concept capsules for computer science. It is going to be on Sunday and Thursday, right? And this is going to be the schedule for all other branches that is mechanical, civil, electronics and electronics and communication. Yes. So in this concept capsules, uh, we will be providing you these fundamentals gate fundamentals also the tricks right and this uh, concept capsule is going to be of uh, 10 to 15 minutes duration not more than that so you can expect this at 9 a.m for all these branches on the respective dates i'm good how are you divya <clears throat> okay so let me introduce myself those who don't know me yet so my name is Anshul Sharma. I have two plus years of experience and in GATE 2020, I have secured All India Rank 294, cleared ISRO and NILIT exam, mentored more than 1000 students as of now and these are my area of expertise. So today we are, we have, we are going to start compiler design. <clears throat> right. Also, if you want to connect with me, you can join my Telegram group. So this is the link of my Telegram group. So you will be getting the PDF of all my technical classes. And if you have any doubt, then you can ask your doubts there. I will clear your doubts. Also, if you need any guidance related to your preparation, then also you are most welcome. I, I will be really happy to help you out. Okay, fine. So let's start. First of all, let's uh, discuss the compiler design syllabus. So this is the official syllabus that we have uh, from the uh, IITs that we have, uh, you know, this time in 2023, IIT Kanpur is going to conduct a uh, gate exam. So this is the official syllabus that is lexical analysis. So first phase of the compiler, then we have parsing that is uh, syntax analysis. Then we will be talking about syntax directed translation. Then we have runtime environment, intermediate code generation, local optimization, and then we have data flow analysis. So in data flow analysis, liveness analysis is very important. And you can definitely expect one question based on this liveness analysis. <clears throat> yes, yes, I will definitely suggest you. Okay. And we have some, uh, this code optimization techniques that we are going to cover. Okay, so this is the official syllabus. 
Now, if we uh, talk about the weightage analysis, so for the last three years, that is 2022, 2021 and 2020, you can see uh, on an average, it is going to be four to eight marks. So in 2022, they ask questions for around eight, four marks. But in 2021, so in set one, it was around seven marks uh, for set two, it was eight marks. But again, for 2020 and even for 2019, it was four marks only. So on an average, you can say it is around five marks. That is going to be the weightage of compiler but yes sometimes it may vary it may go uh, till 8 right so you cannot neglect this subject yes this subject is very important and even a one mark is very important in your uh, gate exam and that can you know uh, if you if you if you will be able to score these marks definitely you will be doing well in this exam <laughs> right Okay, so if we see the last five years trend for this compiler design subject from gate to uh, this 2018 till 2022, the number of questions generally they ask is uh, three to five marks. Even in gate 2022, they asked only three questions and one is a two mark question. And here uh, the, again, the weightage is going to be four to eight marks. What are the frequently asked topics? So we have SDT that is syntax directed translation. We have intermediate code generation phase. Top down parser, they frame questions from LL1 parser. In case of bottom up parser, you have uh, mostly the questions are from LR parsers. We have four LR parsers, we will be talking about that as well. Then we have lexical analysis. Generally, they ask questions uh, based on number of tokens you have to find. So these type of questions you can expect from lexical analysis. Then we have code optimization and your liveness analysis, which is very important. And from gate 2021 onwards, they have officially mentioned uh, this topic liveness analysis in your syllabus it was there earlier as well but now they are they are mentioning that you know explicitly in the syllabus liveness analysis and in gate 2021 they ask question based on that but in gate 2022 there was no question as such from this topic clear now if you have any doubt guys uh, you can ask okay so Yes, yes, uh, in paid classes also, I will be starting uh, compiler design in the month of June, uh, Sobhage. Okay, not now, in, in the month of June, I will be taking that, right? But now here uh, on YouTube, I will be taking uh, all the most important concepts. And also we will be solving questions based on that, practice questions plus previous year questions. Okay. <clears throat> It's okay, no worries, uh, if you, even if you are from mechanical background, still you will be able to understand everything, whatever I'm going to teach in this series. So don't worry about it, okay? Now, uh, if you talk about the standard test book, that is this Pullman for compiler design. This is the only book that you should uh, refer if you want to. And uh, I would say if you are attending my lectures, then you don't have uh, any need of a uh, you know reading this uh, standard textbook or referring this but still if you are you know uh, doing a self study then uh, you can refer this uh, standard textbook that is Ullman okay <clears throat> now what we are going to cover in this series so let me tell you that so this is going to be the YouTube session this is going to be the entire schedule of this compiler design so even you can take the screenshot of this so on 4th of May that is uh, today we have a uh, uh, taken this uh, intro session where we are discussing weightage analysis the best books preparation strategy right and uh, the syllabus <clears throat> uh, for practicing pyqs you have uh, online resources as well multiple online sources are there so you can refer that okay or you can purchase any uh, book but i would say online resources are better uh, than you know hard copy because in hard copy they commit uh, many mistakes so it would be better if you uh, if you refer online resources for pyq questions okay so this is going to be the schedule on 5th of may we will become uh, you know taking uh, we will be taking this topic compiler basics and lexical analysis phase so whatever is most important from these topics i will be covering that also questions now one more thing this uh, these sessions that i'm going to take uh, for compiler design it does not contain only concepts. There will be some previous year questions as well as I'm going to give you some homework questions as well. And these homework questions, I will be taking these homework questions in the next class. Okay, so that you can get some work. You, if you understand the concept, you can apply that concept on those questions and you can try to solve those questions. And then those questions I will be discussing in the 
upcoming class that is the next class okay so in this way we are going to proceed in this entire series then on 6th of may uh, we have this uh, topic first and follow and we will be discussing the top down parser which is ll1 parser on 7th of may we will be talking about uh, the lr0 and slr1 parser which is uh, uh, lr parsers okay then we will be talking about in 8th of on 8th of may we will be considering this topic lr1 and clr1 parser so all your doubts will get clear and after solving previous year questions you will get confidence and definitely you will be able to solve all the questions based on these topics in the gate exam that, that i can tell you for sure on 9th of May, uh, so we will be taking this topic, a syntax directed translation. So whatever uh, important topics or, or questions can be framed on this topic, we will be uh, discussing those concepts as well as questions. Clear? On 10th of May, we have this ICG phase, intermediate code generation. And on 11th of May, we have this liveness analysis, questions and concepts. And this is going to be the schedule for all the classes except this last class. The timing is going to be 8 p.m. Just for this last class, the timing is going to be 10 p.m. Clear? So in this way, we are going to proceed uh, for this session. Homework questions will be there so that uh, you can practice while learning the concept. Now, if you have any doubt, so these are the topics that I have mentioned clearly in the schedule. You can also take the screenshot. And if you have any doubt related to this uh, series or uh, your preparation, you can definitely ask everyone. And also uh, today, uh, due to some this uh, weather condition, I, I uh, you know, uh, didn't take the session from the smart board. But yes, for all the upcoming classes, I will be taking these sessions only on smart board. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, anyone having any doubt? And guys, uh, if I would say if you want to score full marks in this compiler design, definitely you should attend all these classes, uh, you know, without any exception, because all these are the most important concepts of compiler design. And I would say 99% of the time, the questions will be framed on these topics only. If you see the previous year questions as well, you will find that all the topics, all the questions that were framed in this subject were based on these uh, topics that we have, that I have mentioned in the schedule. <clears throat> yes, so Bhage, OS kab start hoga? So uh, OS, uh, I have covered process synchronization already, right? So as of now, I am taking this compiler design. Maybe after this, I will consider OS again or some other unit, okay? Is there any connection between CUA concepts and compiler design? Uh, a little bit connection is there, but uh, as such, uh, you, you won't find any difficulty to understand any concept because uh, we have few previous year questions where they have combined uh, the concepts of uh, CUA and compiler design. We have some questions in ICG and code optimization phase. <clears throat> Okay, so but but I, I will make sure that you will not find any kind of any sort of difficulty uh, while understanding these concepts and also solving questions based on it. Yes, so Bhagi, a paid batch make up start hoga. Uh, as of now, I'm not sure about it, but very soon uh, you will be having OS, and uh, who will be taking that? You will you will get to know. <laughs> yes, any other doubt? Anyone? And guys, uh, do share uh, this uh, session with all your friends, those who are preparing for GATE 2023 as well as GATE 2024 because, uh, because this series is going to be really helpful. If you want to score full marks in compiler, you should definitely attend, uh, attend these uh, classes. <clears throat> okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you have attended those uh, sessions of synchronization, that's good you should practice based on it okay because practice is important just learning the concept won't help you yes uh, first of all you need to understand the concept then later on you need to revise them and you need to practice them <clears throat> fine so uh, 
tomorrow i will see you at 8 pm and we will be starting this compiler basics and lexical analysis and i can tell you that you are going to enjoy you are going to learn everything that we are going to cover in this one <clears throat> thank you so much uh, sobhagya that that's why i always wanted to deliver the best content and uh, you have already attended my classes so you know that and keep revising those concepts <clears throat> okay that's good you have solved some previous year questions based on synchronization so you should solve all the previous year questions and also in that series i have covered most of the questions uh, on synchronization similarly in this series also i will be taking most of the questions of compiler from all these topics so that never ever you will find any difficulty uh, in solving any gate questions <clears throat> fine okay so tomorrow i will see you all uh, at 8 pm and we are going to start this series there are many publications uh, you can search on net also right but again i'm telling you if you are if you are going to buy a hard copy for any publication you will find so many mistakes and i don't want that that you learn incorrect concepts okay So that is why I try to refer online resources. That will be better. Just for the questions, yes, you can refer any uh, previous year books, right? But for the solutions or clearing your concepts, online resources are much better. <clears throat> right. Okay. So that's it uh, from this class. And guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Byju's Exam Prep. youtube channel and also share with your friends uh, because uh, tomorrow we are going to start this series and we want to have maximum students so that they can take the benefit of this free online course that we are providing on youtube from byju's exam trip <clears throat> there are so many websites you can just google it you will find it out so do subscribe to byju's exam trip youtube channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and important sessions we'll see you tomorrow at 8 pm do join it okay take care good night and bye bye thank you all